when he gives you the little thing to look after, it grows um, into something big and beautiful. Hi, I'm Beck, and this is my story. Myself and my girls went outside and we started to plant sunflower seeds just for fun. Um, and over the course of summer, these beautiful sunflowers started to grow. You look at the head of the sunflower and it's beautiful because it's got hundreds and hundreds of sunflower seeds in it. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I should try and like take them out and sow them for next year. So I hopped onto YouTube and had a look and worked out how to do it. Nickly little thought entered my mind, which was, hey, I could give sunflowers to every, every, sunflower seeds to everybody in my street. And it was one of those thoughts that you're like, yeah, that's probably a silly little thought. Just ignore it. But it kept coming back. My husband and myself run a young adult small group. So we had small group one night. We were talking about what God was saying um, and how he's been ministering to you over summer. And so I shared. My young adults thought that, hey, no, you so should do it. It's a great idea. And I was like, Dang it, <laughs> okay. So I went to Colour Conference earlier this year, um, which is a women's conference run by Hillsong. I didn't really know what God was saying. I didn't know what my purpose was. Usually it's just, you know, one sermon here and one sermon there and oh yeah, that's great and you go home. And this particular Colour Conference, God couldn't have been clearer to me. I was at a session with Bobby Houston and she was sharing about um, sunflowers and the beautiful magnificence of sunflowers. And I thought, oh my goodness, God, could you be any more clearer um, with me? And I suddenly saw in this moment that actually, this wasn't just a physical thing. There's something very spiritual about this. And so I was an absolute mess. Um, and he, he speaks to me a lot through pictures. And so he's spoken to me a lot about gardens in the past few months. Um, and so I was like, okay, God, I'll go do it. You know, I'll go home and I'll go, you know, hand these seeds out. The second last day of colour, they really encouraged us just to sit and just to be in God's presence and let God speak to you. And so I sat in God's presence and was like, God, what do you want to say to me? You know, like you've been clear as day. I need to hand these sunflower seeds to um, my street. There's something that you're teaching me about sowing seeds. He showed me this beautiful picture and I was a little girl running through a garden and I was like throwing the seeds, you know, through the garden, just giggling and laughing. I looked behind me and saw Jesus and he was holding the watering can during the watering of the seeds. And so the seeds would grow. And I just thought, wow, what a picture to take home with me. So I learned all these things about sunflowers during this time and came, came home and went, okay, better act on it. And so I got my little, you know, pulled up all my sunflower seeds. I went with my daughter, Bella, and we went and it was just at the start of COVID, the very, very start. And we, we went and posted all of the sunflower seeds. I wasn't game enough to knock on people's doors. You know what? It was really funny. It was one of those little mind games when everything in my mind is saying, don't do it, you're a nutcase, like why would you do something like that? Um, people are just thinking, I think you're strange, um, but also knowing that I had to obey God in it. Probably about a couple of weeks later, and COVID really started, and um, everyone was in lock, started to be in lockdown. And I felt as if God said to me, I want you to write a note to everyone in your street and set up a page and invite them to be a community, you know, be, make a community during this time. And I was like, oh, I'm that person again, you know, like, <laughs> all right. That afternoon, I hopped on to Facebook and already 30 people had joined my Facebook group. I got all these like notes in my letterbox just from people who, you know, were just like, oh, thank you so much. You know, it's so nice to know. 
um, that there's people here who care. Um, but also I got lots of thank yous for my sunflower seeds and the amount of people who actually said we, we can't wait to plant them, we can't wait to plant them in our driveway. This Facebook group um, is now probably up to oh, 80 members. We, we've had dinner in the driveways together. We have celebrated stranger birthdays. We found out that there was a couple down the road they've been married for 74 years and that was really cool. And so we went down the road and we did a big chalk sign. The local paper caught hold of it and we got put in the Herald Sun so that was pretty fun. But we got the whole neighbourhood to write a card. The neighbours next door had a baby so yeah again we did another little sign. Just doing little things like making them a meal. We've done obstacle courses with chalk on the road. I recently made some cookies and tea and just left it out and let the neighbours know hey come help yourself just to prep you up. Um, so we've just been doing what we can just to build community and it's been so lovely to see how how much people long for community, how much people want to be in relationships. I got an email from someone in that email, she was like, I just want to say thank you so much for you setting up this group. You know, I've longed for this community for so long in a neighbourhood and I finally found it. Now I know my neighbours. Like I have lived here for over 12 years and I've really not known anyone. And this is my mission field. It's right here on my doorstep. The guy down the road bringing me succulents. I've got the neighbours across the road bringing me pumpkin. You know, you've got people calling out for help. You've got people just bringing chocolates over. I love that you ride up and down the street with the kids and they're all like, oh, hi, how are you going? Who would have thought that from like a single act of obedience of like a seed that God could use it? Um, so I guess it's really exciting to see where it would go and what God will keep doing with it. I've got to know unteen neighbours who are Christians themselves that belong to churches around um, Melbourne. And two weeks ago we had a Zoom call on a Sunday night and we prayed together for the street. It's not about me, it's not about us. It's actually about God and letting him do his work. And there's so many people in this street who are so lost and hurting. And if we can bring just a glimmer of hope, a little sunbeam, then yeah, it's all worth it. I've got to obey God with the little things. I think I need to um, trust that he knows it all um, and that I'm enough for it, um, enough to do what he wants me to do. You've got that little niggly feeling, I guess, and it's not going away, um, then I would encourage you to act on it. With God, from little things, big things grow, but it's one step at a time. And so we just have to be faithful with the little thing that God has entrusted to you. So often we can think that God is asking us to do this great big thing in the sky. And yet Jesus came to work in community. He came to build relationships. He came to bring hope. And that's all he wants us to do is that one little thing. Be that one little hope, do that one little step and just be obedient with Jesus in the little things.